Oh yeah, that's looking real good. So day two, which was the first day of the tournament, uh, it started off exactly how we planned on it starting, uh, which means it started completely against what our plans were. <laughs> we woke up, um, you know, super early. Well, super early for us, like 7 a.m. Um, Bubba tied up a few more flies for us to take out and we headed out. And what we had to do is we had to stop by, uh, by his mailbox and grab this package. And the company sent out uh, these packages that had these like uh, wrist braces in them that you had to wear like during the tournament so that they know when you submit the video of you catching a fish, they could see that and know that you were actually fishing on the right day. So we stopped at his mailbox and of course, package isn't there. There's just a, a letter that says that we have to go to the post office and pick it up, uh, which doesn't open until 9 a.m. So like any other self-respecting adults, we did what anyone would do in that situation and uh, threw mimosas in our face. So then we got to the post office as soon as it opened uh, and then we headed straight out to the first lake, which was the one where we could catch smallmouth bass. Um, and we were just gonna try to check that off the list like as quick as we could. So we got there, uh, we got all the paddle boards set up and then um, before I could even get mine in the water, Bubba already caught one. Wait, hold on, there we go, a little small mouth. Nice. Dude, decent one, first one of the day. Setting them in. Yeah, we in it. Oh yeah. All right. So we filmed that really quick, um, you know, got that one good and then basically, since we caught it so fast, we figured we could um, try to catch tiger muskie that are apparently in that lake also. So we gave that a try for a little while. Bubba ended up catching a few more smallmouth, and then we figured we probably weren't gonna get a tiger muskie, so we decided to head out. So we got out of the water. Um, we went to go pack up the paddle boards, and of course it was at that moment that I realized you can't actually upload videos to the app, you have to film them on the app that they have to submit the videos. Yeah, that's uh, typical. <laughs> so hey, like we basically just caught four in like 20 minutes. Let's just go back out there, catch one really quick, do it the right way, and then we'll head out. <laughs> so we jumped back on the paddle boards and over the next hour, our moods just declined because we could not get one smallmouth bass to bite. And then after an hour of trying, Bubba finally gets one. So we do it the right way, jump out of the water, load everything up, and we head over to the lake that we were at the day before to try and catch a largemouth and definitely catch uh, a rainbow trout. So we reset up all the paddle boards, which was becoming a pain in the ass. Uh, got back on the lake and we were gonna paddle all the way out to the back side of the lake because we figured that's like the best spot where they might be. Uh, and on our way out there, I see a rainbow trout just like pop up on the surface really quick. And I thought, okay, like watch this. I threw one cast at this thing. Oh, oh. Got him. Maybe. There you go. Yeah. Oh, I might, I might have him. He's a little guy. He's a little guy. Come on, come on. Oh, we got him. Luckily, he was a, he was a little guy um, because I lost my net. Uh, the previous day. So I was able to get him in and just kind of grab him a little bit and get the hook out of his mouth, no problem. So then we just have to film the video of, you know, showing, like clearly showing that it's what kind of fish it is and then letting him go nice and gently. And uh, we completely fucked that up. Wait, fuck. Oh. I had it earlier recording. I don't know, but it stops. So I don't know what happens now. Did it get away? I was recording. I got your bracelet and everything, but I don't- You, could, you couldn't see it though. I could, you could see it. I just don't know, I don't know where the video is. I hope so. I don't know where the video is. There, it just, I'm gonna throw my phone into this water. We're gonna be able to see it. Like it was clear that like a pattern was already set. Anytime something good happens to us, right afterwards, something shitty's gonna happen. Like that's just what it seemed like was gonna happen 
all day long, and it was, you know, 11 a.m. at this point. After that, we could not get a single trout to bite for like an hour. We just could not get it. Losing my shit right now. It is so windy right now. It's like impossible to be out here on this paddleboard. So we focus mainly on just catching a largemouth bass because we're gonna have more chances uh, at trout later in the day. And of course, we cannot get a largemouth bass to save our lives. Uh, oh yeah, and uh, Bubba's paddle for his paddleboard broke, so we only had one paddle. So we're towing each other around this lake while we're trying to catch this bass. And then finally, after I don't even know how long we were on that lake, Bubba got one. All right, a little largemouth. Nice one, dude. See you later. So we finally get the largemouth bass. We're finally gonna head off the lake. We were at our lowest low while we were out there. Now we're riding our highest high. And of course, we get back to shore and the bags with the pumps for the paddle boards are gone. We looked around like the woods in the area for a little bit to see if anyone had just like picked them up and like thrown them behind a tree or something. And we couldn't find them at all, so they're stolen. So we just threw the, the loose paddle boards uh, in Bubba's truck and we started to head out of the parking lot. Um, when we saw what could only be defined as a tweaker mobile home, meaning it was like a 1993 Toyota Camry uh, with just stolen shit scattered all over the parking lot around it. Uh, which is when I paid the price uh, of not following the number one rule of just having a camera around, which is never stop filming because you're gonna miss some, you're gonna miss some shit. So as we're driving past these people, uh, we're just kind of looking over what they've got scattered all over the place. And I just hear Bubba go, oh, would you look at that? Throws the truck in park and he is out of his door before the truck even stops. Now, if anyone's ever met Bubba or anyone who has a friend whose close friends call them Bubba, you basically know that anytime something like this happens, now we've got to go fight tweakers. <laughs> so we walk over to where just the, the paddleboard bags that they'd stolen from us are. Bubba rips them out from all the other stuff and starts throwing them back towards the truck. And this lady is sitting there in this chair and just starts like trying to talk to us. She's like, oh, I'm sorry, my bad. I didn't know it looked like they'd been there a while. Not the case at all. Like, you, I, Jesus, fuck. And like, look, I get it, all right? People have substance abuse issues and some people need help. But don't fucking steal people's stuff. It's that easy. You don't need it. You don't need a fucking empty paddleboard bag. I'm sorry. I'll buy you a sleeping bag. Just fucking ask. So we got the paddleboard bags back and we're heading out and we're back. We're high on the hog. So now we're gonna head out east uh, through the mountains. We're gonna jump in some rivers, try to catch some cold water fish and get those on the board. Unless I get a nicer, real pretty one, I'll that is so I can get a picture. It's like and that whole drive through the mountains was insane to me. Like I've seen mountains so few times in my life and I don't think that I'm ever like gonna acclimate to them. They're just so crazy. Like the whole drive, I was just like, damn, that's a big ass rock. Like I don't even, how does that, how does that happen? And Bub was trying to tell me like tectonic plates are doing this, that, I, I don't care. Big rock, that's cool. <laughs> So we get to the river that we want to fish and it is running high and it is running fast. But, you know, we're already there. We're planning on staying the night out there anyway. So we decided to suit up and jump in. Get like mountain trout fishing. Dude, this is my first time legit trout fishing, basically. <laughs> this is the workhorse right here. That's the one. Dude, this is so sick. Oh, it's not working. What happened? Ah! <laughs> hey, this is blue as these mountains right here. All right. You have to do it on your own. Oh, it's too cold. Oh, God. <laughs> Damn, of course, I have to piss right now, of course. 
That's a big S tree. <sighs> Looks cool, but for sure high. A little Rocky Mountain Blue. Give it a try. Thanks, player. Let's see what it'll do. It looks sick. Some. This is gonna be rough. Slow strips. This is some intense. This is not Texas Creeks, that's for sure. I still feel just gotta hold myself in position while I cast. That's new to me. Oh, so is that. Go back there. Well, this is fun. <laughs> All right. All right, now bring this back up here. Oh my God. This fly line's going crazy on me right now. Okay, clearly I know what I'm doing in this river. <laughs> I heard a, oh shit. I heard a player, oh my God, dude, what is going on? I can't walk. I heard a player call and I can't. Where the f is he? Dude, it's so hard to run in these. I need this. Yes. Oh my God. Dude. <laughs> these rocks are so hard to walk on in this stuff. Okay. I'm gonna set this backpack on. I'm not conditioned for this. Okay, I gotta slow down. Okay, now I see him. I see the Bucky's bandana. Those have thorns. Can I just climb up this and walk through the woods? God damn, this backpack is heavy. Yo, I am so... Dude, come on. I am all over the place right now. Yo, yo, yo. I just ate shit four times <laughs> trying to get over here. I heard you hit me with the player. I was like, oh shit, I caught something. I was hauling ass up here. Oh yeah? God damn, of course. When I'm up here, it's blown out. That's just so typical. It's been low, dude. Like, it was so low this whole week until, like, right before we got here. Yeah, having a gun sounds tight right now. Yeah, I think we are totally and utterly on this spot. Look at this. What is going on here? It's the second time in like 20 minutes. Oh, almost fell. Not a good cast. Oh, you cast.
Dude, this water is fucking crazy. Dude, get the f out of here, man. Why does it have to be while I'm in the middle of this torrential current? 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 <laughs> what the hell am I even saying? Oh my god. The one thing, the one little plant, this is what I get caught on. Oh my god. Sick. We got completely skunked. <laughs> we didn't even see a fish. And even like being skunks, I still loved every second of being out there. Like being in a river like that, in a place like that, you know, drinking a couple blue mountains myself. Dude, I can get skunks like that all day long and be perfectly fine with it. So then we went to town, um, got a hotel so that we could just start the next day out east already. Uh, and then we ended day two by doing what we do best. Getting f***ed up. Got completely skunked here. Time to do what we do best. No way. Oh, 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 oh,